time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button down there. It's down there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G E E K L I Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's time to get this reaction video movie review started. Before I even start, why don't you take a look down in the pinned comments because in honor of this movie, Sony has given me some gift cards to give away. There's a link to enter down below, pinned comments, giving away five $25 gift cards. Earlier so, this week, I caught a sneak peek of the new Jumanji movie, The Jumanji The Next Level. It brings back The Rock, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, all the characters we loved in the in the original movie. They're back in the video game, but we also have some newcomers, the Dannys, Danny Glover and Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito, who plays Spencer's grandpa, is back. Uh, Spencer is back. And we have Danny Glover, who is a friend of Danny DeVito's, uh, longtime friend of the grandpa. They got a few different twists in this one. When they came back into the game, we see the grandpas come back. The Dannys are in it. One of them is The Rock, Danny DeVito. And then you see Danny Glover in Kevin Hart's body. Uh, so the characters are mixed up a little bit. A new thing in this movie is they have what's called the electric water, which may, is gives the characters an option to change characters within the movie. So we see the characters being changed in there. We get see them switching up. We have Fridge, Bethany, Spencer, all those are back. We see them have lived their lives now outside of the game. They come back for the holidays. Spencer's not having a good time. He's having a share his room with Grandpa Danny DeVito. He's just not having a great time in his life right now. We see that he goes in the basement. He had kept the original game after they tried to destroy it and get rid of it. And he gets back into the game. The rest of the players plus the Dannys are sucked into the game. And they're having a new villain even in this in this scene. I like the premise, but it fell short for me. It did. I don't know if it was not enough of, you know, the action within the game. There was a lot of lead up to it. We do see Nick Jonas is back in this, so you know that's going to bring an interesting little twist to it. But as far as just the overall feel for me, I was like, meh, it was all right. It's hard to recreate that kind of magic that they have when they had the original. Well, I'm not going to even say the original, not the original with Robin Williams, but the original with The Rock and Kevin Hart and all those. It's hard to recreate that kind of magic. I feel like they did a little bit, but it still fell short for me. The story you get lost in a bit. It was too much of a lead up. I wanted to see more in the game. I, I did. I didn't want all that lead up in Spencer's life. All right, we know he's having a hard time, blah, 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 blah. We know this. I wanted to see more in the game. I wanted to see more actions game. I see. I wanted to see more character development of the characters within the game. We got a little bit more of that than the first one, but I wanted more. I wanted more. And in the end, it was one of those where I enjoyed it, but still, it was okay. I give it a 7 out of 10. If you like the original, this is one you're going to have to see. We're, you get to see The Rock again. You get to see Kevin Hart in that role. Jack Black is Bethany. Yes, he eventually comes back as Bethany. And uh, you're enjoying those characters once again, but... I still wish they had a little bit more of a plot. Let me know if you think, if you saw it already, comments, thumbs, all that. And until next time.